Today, I'm going to teach you how to color tone your photos using Apply Image. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And man, we got a great episode for you today. We're going to show you how to color tone using Apply Image in Photoshop. Now, Apply Image is one of those kind of like hidden things that not a lot of people know about, but it's extremely powerful. So in today's episode, we're going to show you what Apply Image is and how you can use it in your photos. You can use Apply Image on a regular layer and on a layer mask. Then we're going to be bringing a color balance layer in and show you how to use Apply Image to have it only be visible either in the highlights or the shadows. So you can color them completely separately. We got a great episode, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. All right, guys, so here we are in Photoshop. We've got a great image. We're going to be coloring the highlights and the shadows separately. Now, before we do that, I want to show you guys what Apply Image actually does because it's insanely powerful and uh, not a lot of people know. OK, we're going to start off by creating a new layer. So let's click on our new layer icon. We've got layer one here. Now, I'm going to go to Image and down to Apply Image. OK. So here are apply image dialog. We're just going to kind of talk you through this a little bit so you get a good understanding of what this actually does. Okay, so here's your source. Now in this case we're using this images from Adobe Stock, so this is going to be our source. Okay, now when we choose layer, here we go, it's going to, in this case, choose a merged copy of everything we see. So basically it takes a merged copy of everything we currently see and it applies it to our current layer. Okay. Now, channel RGB, you pretty much always want to be on RGB, and you have different blending modes as well. So let's go ahead and start off with a normal blending mode. Okay, so basically what this is saying is it's going to take a merged copy of everything we see and just stick it on this layer. Okay, you can invert, there we go, or not invert. So let's hit OK. Now, what this actually did is created everything we saw, it stuck it on our new layer. So if I grab my move tool and move this around, you can see Basically, it's everything that we just saw, which is just our background layer, and it applied it to this layer. Now, let's go ahead and undo that a couple of times. On this layer, what we're going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to draw uh, my name, Aaron. It's a real piece of art there. Now, let's go ahead and create a new layer above that. So this layer, layer one, has my name on it. Okay. Layer two. Let's now go to image and then down to apply image. Okay. Now we're going to use the same settings here. We're going to choose our source is going to be Adobe Stock. Our layer we're going to choose Merged, which is everything we see, and our blending mode is going to be Normal. So what this did is now here on layer two, you can see it looks like a copy. Layer two is a copy of everything we see on the new layer, including the text for Aaron. So basically this is a way to get what's on your image, what everything that you can see onto either a layer or a layer mask. Now, this is incredibly helpful. So I use apply image on both layers and layer masks. This can be really helpful. Let's say you're working on an image and you've done a bunch of steps, okay? Then you decide you want to use the liquify tool. Now, a liquify tool you have to do on a single layer. I can't do that on a blank layer. So basically, I need a way to get everything that I see in my image onto one layer so that I can liquify. And that's how you would use apply image. Now, up until this point, we've used Apply Image on a specific layer. Now we're going to show you how to use Apply Image on a layer mask, revealing the other part of the functionality of Apply Image. All right, let's jump in and show you that. All right, guys, so back to our image. We're going to go ahead and start from scratch again. Let's create a new layer. And this time, I'm just going to choose, there we go. We're just going to choose a nice bright blue color. And just with my brush tool, I'm going to just paint right over top of our image, just like that. All right. There we go. So with our brush tool, now we're going to create a layer mask. So I'm going to click on my layer mask icons. So we've got our regular layer and our layer mask. And now I'm going to go to image and down to apply image. Okay. Now here in apply image, we have a couple of options. So we're going to see layer merged like we've already done. Okay. Our blending mode is going to be normal and let's go ahead and hit okay. So if I hold alt or option and click on my layer mask, we can see that's what my layer mask looks like now. It's an exact copy of our image applied to the layer mask. Now, I'm going to undo that real quick, but we'll try this again with a couple different settings. So, image, 
down to apply image. Okay, now in this case, instead of just choosing merged, what I'm gonna choose is my background layer. So I'm gonna say, you know what? I want my background layer to be applied onto the layer mask of this layer. So let's go to layer here. We're gonna choose background. There we go. And our blending mode is going to be set at normal and hit okay. So now if I hold alt or option and click on my layer mask, you can see my background layer is applied to my layer mask. Now this is really cool because what it's doing to this exact layer is controlling the visibility of this layer. So anything and layer mask basically on a layer, anything that's light on a layer mask makes this area visible. Anything that's dark makes it invisible. So we're using the actual lights and darks from my background image on this layer. Well, all I did is paint blue and now we can see that this layer is showing up just in my highlights. Now we can refine this even further. If I click on my layer mask again, go to image and down to apply image. Okay. We're going to apply our background, but this time, instead of just using a normal blend mode, we go to multiply. It's basically going to do this again. So it's going to apply our background onto our layer mask again, and it's going to multiply. So the darks are going to get even darker now. So let's hit okay. I'm going to hold alt or option and take a look at our layer mask. And now this is what our layer mask looks like. You can see it's even darker. And remember when you're on a layer mask guys, the dark areas become invisible and the light areas become visible. So by applying our actual image to our layer mask, I'm basically able to say what's on your layer is either going to be visible in the lights or in the dark. So it's a really great way to define what, what actually is going to be visible on your layer. All right, let's jump back into Photoshop and we'll show you. So I'm going to hold alt or option and now we can, click this layer visible and invisible and you can see what just started as like a big blue blob on our image is now only visible there in our highlights which is incredibly powerful so we can do this one more time if you want let's click on our layer mask we'll go to image down to apply image okay multiply again and you can see a little preview each time i do this it's just going to refine over and over and over again so let's hit okay there and there we can see now this blue is only visible in the highlights of my image. Not only that, but it's very, very well defined because it's using the actual pixel data from our image. If I hold alt or option, you can see it's using the actual pixel data from my image to define the visibility on the layer mask. Now, I know we've covered a lot up until now and apply image can be a little bit confusing, but basically the idea is you can take any layer and apply it to any other layer or layer mask. And that's really great for defining visibility, whether you want something to be visible in just the highlights or the shadows. So that's the whole idea behind apply image. Now we're gonna jump in and we're gonna show you how to actually color tone using apply image. So same principles. When you color tone, it can be really helpful to just color tone your highlights and then on another layer, just color tone your shadows. So you have a lot more control there. So we can use regular color balance adjustments layers and then use apply image to have it only visible in the highlights or only visible in the shadows. So hopefully now you're kind of like, oh, I kind of get it. Everything's kind of coming together. So you can use this to just control visibility and then color balance adjustment layers to change the actual colors. All right, let's jump in and we'll show you how to do that. All right, so we're going to just delete this layer. We don't need it. I just created that so I could show you guys how a regular layer worked. All right. Now we're actually going to start color toning, which is going to be fun. So let's go to layer. We're going to go to new adjustment layer and I'm going to go down to color balance, which is a great way to color tone your image. Okay. So here in our color balance, we have control over our midtones, shadows, and highlights. Now I'm going to click on highlights because we're going to start with the highlights. In this case, I want to give it like a nice, like kind of sunset warm type image. So I'm going to bring my yellows. We're going to click and drag our yellows over and our reds as well. All right, and we're gonna add a little bit of green as well. Red and green together create brown. So, you know, don't worry. It's not gonna make your image green unless you go farther than your red and then you will look a little bit green. There we go. Now I'm gonna make this layer visible and invisible. And while it is doing a nice job color toning my image, you can see it's, it's covering the entire image. Even though I selected highlights here, it's still covering my entire image. Now. I want to define our sunlight. Like I want the light to be this color, but I don't want my shadows to be this color. 
So here's where we use apply image. So we're going to click on our layer mask here. I'm going to go to image and down to apply image. There we go. And we're going to choose our background. Okay, so we're going to choose our background. We want to be applied to this layer using our blending mode of multiply. And you can see already just by turning on this preview, we can see already what a big difference it makes. So let's hit okay. All right. And again, if I hold alt or option and click on my layer mask, you can now see what our actual layer mask looks like. It's just a copy of your background layer. So if I turn this off and on, now we can see our color toning is just happening in the highlights of my image, which is huge, guys. So now we have control over just the highlights. So let's try doing the same thing with our shadows. We're going to create, we're going to go to layer, new adjustment layer, and I'm going to go to color balance. Now, here we control our midtones or our shadows. We're just going to click on our midtones because you can you can actually color tone your shadows with your midtones. So we're going to put a little bit of blue in there and a little bit of cyan. There we go. Now you can see again this is kind of coloring every. It's kind of col coloring my entire image, even though I just uh, clicked on midtones. It's coloring our entire image. So I still want these nice warm highlights from this layer, right? So what we're going to do is click on our layer mask here. I'm going to go to image and down to apply image. Okay. And now we're going to see here with our apply image. So we're going to use our background. Okay. Multiply is going to darken it down. But the problem here is our layer mask, you can see, looks exactly the same from our previous color balance layer. So what this is telling me is now this layer, which I want to color the shadows, is actually just visible in the highlights. So that's the opposite of what we want. So anytime you have the opposite of what you want, just click on this invert button. Okay, and now you can see instantly we're coloring just the shadows. So let's hit okay. All right, turning this layer off and on, you can see we are just coloring our shadows and this layer is just coloring our highlights. So if I hold alt or option and click on this layer mask, you can see it's actually the invert of the image. So it's telling wherever is light in the image. Remember, this area was light in the image, right? You can see it like, you know, it's the, the sky, right? This was light, but we inverted it. Now it's dark. So this layer is only visible in the shadows, which is very cool. Now you can do this again if you want. So let's click on this layer. I'm going to go to image down to apply image. Okay. And here we're just basically going to do this again. So multiply blending mode. We do want to make sure we are click, clicked on invert and it's just going to go a little bit stronger. So if I click on this preview, you can see the before and the after. There's our before and the after. You can see it's just, let me zoom in here. So we can see it's starting to just, there we go, before and after. It's disappearing even more from the highlights of our image. So let's hit OK there. All right, guys. And what we have now, we, we basically did it. it took a lot of explaining because I wanted to make sure you guys understood what apply image did so that way we can actually use it to your advantage. But we've done exactly what we have wanted to do. We've color toned using apply image. So let's go ahead and turn these layers on and off. So this layer is now just showing up in the shadows because we're using a layer mask that looks like this, which is just showing up in the shadows. And this layer is just showing up in the highlights because we're using a layer mask that makes it only visible in the highlights. So there we have it. That's color toning using apply image. Now, the cool thing here is because we have our shadows colored and our highlights colored separately, I can simply double click here on my color balance adjustment layer. And now I can change my shadow color. Okay. We can go in and totally change our shadow color here after the fact anything that I want. And I know it's only going to be affecting my shadow areas. All right, there we go. And I can click here on my highlights and I could add more red to my highlights. If I wanted to, I could add more blue to my highlights. I have a ton of control over my highlights and shadows now because we're controlling them completely separate and everything is based. There we go on our layer mask. So it's very, very, detailed. Our layer masks are perfectly defining where is actually going to be visible on our image. So there we go. We're sh doing our shadows with this layer and our highlights with that layer. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at the before and after. I'm going to go ahead and group those. Hit F for full screen. And here's our before 
This is no color toning. And our after just adds a lot of really nice look to the image. And again, it's perfectly defined by just the highlights and shadows because we're taking the actual image data and applying that to the layer mask of the color balance adjustment layers. All right, guys, so now you can see the power of apply image and how to use it to color tone your images. If you want to do this at home, just follow these key steps. First, get to know your apply image dialog. Go to image and down to apply image on a new layer. You can choose to apply a merged copy, which will be everything you see on your image or a specific layer. You can change your blend mode from normal, or in this case, I recommend changing it to multiply. Now, if you want your layer to be visible in the highlights, don't click invert. If you want your layer to only be visible in the shadows, go ahead and click on invert and then hit OK. Keep in mind, you can use apply image on a layer or on a layer mask to define visibility. And in this case, we created a couple color balance adjustment layers, editing just our highlight color and just our shadow color separately. And also keep in mind, you can change these colors at any time. After you use apply image on your layer mask to make it either visible just in the highlights or in the shadows, double click on your color balance adjustment layer and change the colors to get the perfect image. Thanks so much for watching today's tutorial, guys. I hope this helped out. Use apply image on layer masks to define visibility and you can do some awesome work coloring your photos. If you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, leave it in the comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll learn you later. Bye, everyone. Hello? 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 Woo! Now, first, before we start... Is it Jared Whisperwood, my biggest fan? <laughs>